The Monet de Paris, the state mint, is an ideal exhibition space for contemporary artists, such as Maurizio Catalan of Italy. His Novecento taxidermy horse hangs over the entrance. The artist himself breaks through the parquet floor below. This is a very important work as it represents Maurizio Catalan and the way he's broken into the art world like a thief, and he himself is completely surprised. That's very characteristic of his work. He deals quite a lot with failure and the problems associated with success. This portrait shows Catalan at age 25. Born in Padua in 1960, he came from modest beginnings and settled in New York City in the early 1990s. He made his name internationally with his hyper-realist, often satirical figures. A Maurizio Catalan hanging on the wall is always comical and lighthearted, but it's also an insightful portrait. Look at his gaze. One of his famous horse installations is also on view. It represents power. It's a horse very typical of equestrian statues. But there's no warrior astride, and the horse has no head. It's a critique of authority and the abuse of power. In one of his best-known works, The Ninth Hour, Catalan reigns a meteorite down on Pope John Paul II. The Ninth Hour alludes to the part of the Gospel where Jesus is on the cross and feels abandoned by his God. It's a deeply spiritual work. One of Catalan's obsessions is religion as an instrument of power. He likes to shock people. If it had been nothing more than a provocation, nobody would pay attention to it now, 20 years later. Much like Oscar from Gunter Grass's The Tin Drum, Catalan rejects the hypocritical world of adults. His creations are forever in search of a spiritual father figure.